and welcome to Health Options. I am Rabi Abdullah. All healing comes from a combination of good nutrition, regular exercise, and a healthy spirit. With the coronavirus disease outbreak, many people are concerned about staying healthy and maintaining a healthy immune system. Doing so can benefit the body and boost defenses against viruses, bacteria, and other pathogens. On this episode of Health Options, we shall dwell on what can help boost your immunity to help you and your body stay strong to fight infections. Stay with us because there is a lot for you to benefit from the program. If you're just joining us, this is Health Options, and we're looking at how to boost the body's immunity to fight off infections. And I have with me in the studio to take us through the topic, an integrative medicine expert, Dr. John Tor Abide. Welcome to Health Options, Dr. Tor Abide. It's my pleasure, Ravi. All right. Um, like I said in my opening, this particular point in time is when everybody is scrambling mm -hmm. to you know, keep healthy mm -hmm. and just indulge in uh, things that will boost their, their immunity. Some mm -hmm. are getting it, getting it wrongly, some mm -hmm. don't even know what mm -hmm. to do. But mm -hmm. for, for people, for the fear of coronavirus, just want to do things differently for mm -hmm. a better health. Mm -hmm. You are an expert in, you know, mm -hmm. in this field, and um, would I like you to let us into what you know, the immune system is all about. <laughs> Let's start with that. Very good question. Yeah. Immune defense. Simply put, is the ability of the body to really defend its own self. The body has cells, and um, once a foreign cell comes in, or a foreign what they call antigen, the body cells will now react just like good police guys arresting criminals. They will arrest them. Immunity is at two main levels. There's what we call the acquired immunity. That is the one that you get from your mom through breastfeeding when you come in that is acquired. Mm. It's already determined. Then you have what we call innate or adaptive immunity. That is the one that you can control. And it is actually done at different levels. It's done at the levels of the white blood cells that uh, would, supposing you have a bacterial infection, that comes into the body. The white blood cells are the first group of soldiers that will come to arrest it. Chief among these, they are the group of cells known as the neutrophils. They are the active soldiers that will arrest any foreign bacteria that comes in. Then you have other group of cells like uh, the monocytes, you have the macrophages, you have the basophils, you have eosinophils playing different roles. Okay, uh, well said. Um, you know, but um, over time, as um, man, um, you know, move around, you know, there's the degeneration that, you know, is brought about by maybe an ailment or illnesses that could, you know, you know, compromise our immune system. Mm -hmm. For instance, the coronavirus mm -hmm. disease is one that says for people who have um, underlying ailments, you know, it could be really devastating on such people, mm -hmm. people with, you know, who are asthmatic, you know, people with ulcer, people with diabetes and all of that, you know, because these are sometimes people who are already on medication mm -hmm. and somehow mm -hmm. their immune system, you know, is to some compromise, extent compromised. Compromise, yeah. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. why for those who had come out of it, you know, strong, we were told had a stronger immunity. So at this point in time, people just want to do, you know, indulge in things, maybe eat rightly or just indulge in activities or mm -hmm. do whatever things they could, you know, indulge in to, you know, make them, you know, uh, you know enjoy better health or mm -hmm. boost their immunity. Mm -hmm. What have you got to say to that? Well, precisely, you're right. Uh, there is a statement that we say, the, it is the nutrition that drives your immune status. So you have to start from your nutrition. If you don't have adequate or proper nutrition in terms of the micronutrients that are meant to drive the immune system, and if you have any challenge, just like you listed some of the, con uh, the conditions, uh, you will be immunologically compromised. That is mean that your immune system will be down-regulated, that it will go down. 
And that is what is present in almost any disease state. Talking about corona, uh, you know, virus, the Australian, I mean, Australian uh, scientists or and, uh, and their doctors have demonstrated what they call, they have mapped the coronavirus. That is to say that those patients that were infected with coronavirus and recovered, they correlated it with the immune system going up at the time of, you know, recovery. Okay. So, this has been clearly documented. With that then, it is very important for us to maintain a very buoyant, you know, immune system. With uh, your buoyant immune, uh, I mean, immune system, you can resist any uh, viral conditions or any disease conditions that you are uh, challenged with. It uh, including cancer, and then the, so especially you know the virus the, the disease. Let me take this uh, opportunity to explain briefly what uh, this uh, corona or I mean viruses in general means. Viruses are not life things; they are not living things. Really? No, viruses are particles, are protein particles, and that's why it is important for you to say you cannot say that you are killing a virus. Say you are preventing it from entering the system. It is when a virus enters the system, then it goes into your cell, then in the cell there is DNA and RNA, then it will use that DNA of the cell and replicate. Oh, okay. So th that's why it is very important in the control, you have to get your immune system, it's only immune system they say to say that they can recognize infected cells and destroy. Yeah. The bottom line is to destroy the infected uh, cells. And, and a strong immune system goes a long way in making that happen. Oh, yes. Once an infected uh, cell with uh, this uh, virus, then the other, Im I mean, the immune cells sees, recognizes their own brother as being foreign. Then they move to destroy them. They move to destroy them. That's the only way. Okay. A apart from uh, disease conditions, what other things do we indulge in that could you know, reduce or compromise our immune system? So many things, starting from the diet, but uh, even uh, technologically, this, uh, you, know, the, you know, the 5G, this is what they call electromagnetic, uh, you know, um, emissions. These are things uh, that emit uh, radiations that will actually suppress our, you know, immune system. And then there are, certain, and then lifestyle, very important. The kind of lifestyle you live, sleep deprivation, Stress. Stress has a direct correlation with suppressing you, you know, the immune system. So it is advised that we have adequate sleep. Adequate sleep. At least it is recommended at six to eight hours. If you don't sleep very well, the body is being stressed, it releases certain chemicals, especially at some glands known as adrenal glands. They would now release a hormone known as cortisol. The cortisol now suppresses the cells that uh, activates or uh, our immune cells. Where does so it melatonin is, it is very, come in here? Melatonin. You yes. want to hear about melatonin? Yes. yes. Melatonin is very important. Melatonin is what we call a bioidentical hormone. Okay. That is mean that the body produces, you know, melatonin. And let me explain this. Melatonin is very, very important. It's not only a sleep hormone. These days, with advances in functional medicine and automolecular medicine, we've come to appreciate the role of melatonin more than we had known before. Before, we just said it is, I mean, hormone of, uh, you know, sleep. sleep. It's beyond that. Melatonin also plays a role, a major part in your immune system directly too. Melatonin rejuvenates and activates your, uh, I mean, your cells. The melatonin also detoxifies the removal of toxins in our body. I will come and talk about that. Detoxification is also very important in potentiating our immune system. If our bodies are full of, you know, toxins, the cells cannot act, uh, you know, properly. Talking about melatonin, it is very important for you to have the right amount of sleep and the right time, what I call quality sleep. Melatonin being a, a bioidentical hormone produced by the body starts production as the sun goes down. You know, ideally you see the body system actually start shutting down. God created us that night should be a time to sleep. Melatonin comes into effect by 10 o'clock. 10 uh, p.m. 10 p.m. Okay. And from 10 p.m. it goes, it starts rising. It goes up to 12. 12, then it reaches the maximum level, then it plateaus. 
So it is actually what we said in court, criminal for us to be awake during those hours. From 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., you're missing the melatonin cycle wow. and your system will be messed up. Wow. So if you abide by that, what does it do? What do you gain? Remember, you yeah, melatonin has a direct effect on our immune system. Okay. So it checks and maintains your immune, I mean, uh, immune systems, you know, up. Okay. It detoxify you, remove the toxins, and then it also rejuvenates the cells. Wow. Interesting to know yeah, that. Yeah, um, sure. uh, now that we've uh, dwelt a lot on all of this, you know, Nigerians would really like to know what they should take or do to boost their immunity, especially at this point in time. Yes. People are consuming vitamin C, a lot of, you know, such that it's even you know, out of stock as it is. Definitely. We actually use intravenous uh, vitamin C. Oh, you Be have intravenous vitamin C? Of course, because mm. in disease state, some of these micronutrients, that level has so much been compromised to very low, you know, levels. Take for example, vitamin D, the normal range should be 30 to 100, no international units, or I mean uh, nanograms, you know, per liter. But some people, they come to us, we see that their vitamin C level is just below 10. So with such people, if you're just uh, depending on tablets, it, it, how long is it going to take you to attain that normal level? You're far below. So we use intravenous, you know, uh, you know injections. Oh, injectable vitamin C. Yes, exists. but let me tell you one thing. Okay. However, these are things you don't uh, find here commonly. We buy most of our products, we get them, I, I mean, uh, you know, outside. And uh, if you want to know, recently when we went to the company, the, precisely from the United States, and they told us they are out of vitamin C. That's the injectable. Yes, the injectable. Wow. Because you want to give it at a certain dose so that you can pick up quickly. Then you can maintain on oral doses. Mm -hmm. Because the problem with oral doses, only 30% of what you take is actually absorbed. That is what is called bioavailability. So take, for example, if you are taking, a, I mean, a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, only 300 milligrams is being absorbed into the system. Oh, however, true. if we, we, we put it directly into your system, yeah, however, injected. you have to be, yeah, the, I mean, the injectable, you attain, you know, that uh, pharmacokinetic, you know, level faster that it will, it will start, you know, benefiting you. Okay. However, some of these things, I'm not just calling for people to start going and injecting themselves vitamin C. First of all, it is very difficult to get. Second, you have to go to a qualified person, I mean a doctor, yeah. who knows it. Because if you inject it very hard, and uh, we're talking about, uh, you know, high doses here. We, I mean, it is being recommended for this purpose to boost your immune, I mean, immune system to take up to five to six grams. That is about uh, 5,000 milligrams to 6,000 milligrams. You are expected, you know, to take that much. And vitamin C is used for many other uh, management of other conditions in integrative medicine that we give doses even higher than that. Some guys, when they hear that, I, uh, I mean, we give people vitamin C at level of 25 grams, they will start uh, shaking. So, not only vitamin C, it is not only the, you know, I mean, the girls in town, you have also vitamin D, which is also very important in potentiating our immune system. You also have, uh, you know, vitamin A, which is also very important towards the immune system. Vitamin A is what actually makes up the structure of the mucosal lining of the cells. The cells, the epithelia, I mean, lining of, you know, cells that play key roles in the immune system. Okay. Other than uh, all these ones that you've um, enumerated, mm -hmm. Let's get down to the level of the common man now. Okay. We know what, is, <laughs> what, what uh, the challenges we're faced with now, humanity in general. Mm -hmm. What should we do? How can we get, what natural sources can we get such immune boosters from? Fantastic. I've already said that vitamin A is also very important in immune. You can get vitamin A and vitamin E from our red palm oil, the original ones. You have, uh, we also have things like, you know, ginger, 
palm oil not in its in a bleached form. It not bleached. That, that's why I say original. Mm -hmm. yeah. It original is a non bleached. It could yes. be original, but the mode of preparation. Mode of very important, yeah, very so important. Bleached, and that's what we bleached, said. It right? should be yeah, organically, you know, you know, prepared. Okay. It shouldn't be bleached because when you you bleach and add all those, it you know, or cook it out, it destroys some of uh, the micro. I mean, mm -hmm. nutrients. Yes. So you want to make it uh, so. Take for example, if you are taking two tablespoons of red palm oil, mm. honestly, three times a day, you don't have the need for supplementation of vitamin A and E. Okay. A and E that is contained in our red palm, palm oil is more than what you can get from the supplement. Wow. Yes. And take it raw. In, in fact, either you just take it directly or just mix it with your food and then take it. There's some other uh, products that we also have, like ginger. It's very good. It's actually healthy to add palm oil to your yam and just Very mix it well, in very its well. And in I, its can, I can attest to that fact. When okay. I was a child, that's <laughs> what my, my grandmother used to give me. Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, you see, that's why when you go back, we're telling people go back to how your grandmother used to live. You know, the things like palm oil, things like ginger, things like, uh, you know, uh, natural, you know, greens, uh, you know, they are lehus. Leafy vegetables. Yes, uh, green leafy mm. vegetables. They are very good. They contain some of these uh, phytonutrients, uh, flavonoids, that uh, also contribute to enhancing our immune system. Very important. Okay, so um, cleanliness, hygiene, you know, goes hand in hand regular exercise and all of that. So nutrition, a combination of all this, and a positive spirit, like I said in my intro. Can you just you know, enlighten us more on that? You know, these things are scientifically based. There is a special feed of uh, you know, medicine. It is known as psychoneuroimmunology. What does that jargon mean? It means that there is a direct relationship between your mind, the soul, and your immune system. So if you have a non-forgiving spirit, for example, it suppresses your immune system. Wow. It's been documented. Mm. One of the best uh, you know, doctors, integrative doctors, Dr. Tony Heminez, you can Google him. Okay. He's a great guy, Tony. Tony was treating a patient and the patient was not responding. Until, uh, you know, and uh, some of these uh, centers, they also have either mosques or churches where the patients are being counseled. It is part of, you know, treatment. So the patient was not responding. Tony asked, what's going on? And she had to confess that when she was uh, young, her father and, and the uncle had abused her and she never forget them. Hmm. So they uh, dodged into her to, you know, getting into forgiveness. Earnestly, immediately, she knelt down, started yeah. crying. Treatment started responding. Yeah. She started responding to treatment. Yeah, Several cases like this. So there is a direct, you know, correlation between your spiritual life and the up uplifting. What I tell uh, most of the patients is, uh, you, the number one doctor is God. The second doctor may be the doctor who is treating you, but more than that, you are the doctor yourself. Mm -hmm. Because if you have a negative spirit, it impacts on you. You, you I mean, certain chemicals are actually released into your body, and then you are, you are stressed up. I had mentioned one of those uh, cortisol from the adrenal glands. Mm -hmm. I think then hydrochloric it suppresses. acid too. I don't know. They say there's one. That, is it anger that triggers? That? Anger? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. There's what they call oh. the epinephrine. Oh. They say uh, this. Uh, flight or fight yeah. you know hormone epinephrine yes okay. it, uh, that is uh, the that i mean hormone that actually gives you the energy supposing uh, as we're sitting here a lion comes in i will see rabbit just fly out of this door it is as a, as a result of that you know and uh, you know adrenal adrenaline okay. that hormone so this is uh, affected by your mood your emotion and then in general energy level is very important because and then that's why your lifestyle you are exposed to proper energy proper you know oxygen because this is yeah, these days oxygen proper oxygen why is oxygen very important because disease is not in in terms of our understanding but inability of the body cells to utilize oxygen because oxygen is what is needed to produce energy in our body the energy currency is known as atp so you need that. We have some of these things that can really deliver oxygen. Things like ozone. 
Ozone therapy has come here now. That if you want to know, in Germany, ozone was first discovered in 1870. Those guys are using ozone up to, they have been using ozone up to today. As of today, uh, uh, over 10,000. about? Let's just. Uh, ozone is a form of oxygen. Mm. It's actually a supercharged, okay. you know, oxygen. As a result of that, once you put it into the body, it is able to carry the oxygen that comes with it in company and delivers in the cell especially the part of the cell known as the mitochondria that produces energy, mm. ATP. And then you go. And then ozone is also directly involved with activation of the immune system. There are what you call the interleukins. Well, these are actually cytokines. You have interleukin 1, interleukin 2, interleukin 3, interleukin 4. The whole part of that uh, uh, adaptive uh, you know, immunity that I, I had explained. Or acquired immunity. Since talking about oxygen, what if I tend to hang around where you have greenery plants? Would that not work for me? Real good. Extent? If you come to our center, I'll take you. We'll mm -hmm. set up what we call oxygen bar. Okay. You sit like this, and then we give you oxygen bar so that you can take. We have oxygen generators that can now make you have you know fresh and good oxygen in the body. Honestly, and then we also have exercise with oxygen therapy. Mm. This is what you are riding on a bike and you are taking you know oxygen. Honestly, for a period of 15 minutes is enough for you to have been jogging for one hour. The amount of calories that you will burn if you do that a word. Oh, okay. So, your last word, especially to Nigerians, especially at this point in time that we're all faced with uh, the global pandemic of uh, coronavirus. Yes. Let me first of all start by applauding, you know, the efforts of, uh, you know, the federal government. They're really moving in, trying to do everything, but uh, they need to do more. The second thing is that fear, as I've just said, fear could be part of the you know, factors that will suppress your immune system. And there is nothing more than having a buoyant Im I mean, immune system against this you know, disease and any other disease. Then we've also talked, uh, I mean, the government has done a lot on uh, public enlightenment in terms of what we call precautionary action, washing of hands, uh, social mm, distancing, social some distance. offices have been closed. I mean, those are efforts in the right direction. Mm -hmm. But avoid fear, eat well, rest well, take supplements, and all will be well. And drink plenty of water. Uh, I don't, water I, I, is very important, I, I, and I not just plenty, you want to quantify, it. take at least between two to three liters of water every day. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. John To Abide, for coming on Health Options. It's my, uh, it's my pleasure, Rabbi. Right. Thank you. Yeah. The coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, has been declared by the World Health Organization as a global pandemic. While clinical trials are ongoing for a vaccine and a possible cure, there is no known treatment for the coronavirus. Nigeria has recorded some of these cases and people are advised to take these preventive measures to keep themselves safe and contain the further spread of the virus. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use hand sanitizers all the time. Maintain social distancing. Avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth. Practice respiratory hygiene. If you have fever, cough, and difficulty breathing, seek medical care early. Do not panic. Stop the spread of unconfirmed news. Follow the official government news outlets and report all cases immediately. This message is brought to you by the Nigerian Television Authority, NTA, Africa's largest television network. Thus, health options for this week. Ensure you observe all the safety guidelines on COVID-19 for your safety and the safety of the people around you. A quick reminder also that you can go to our YouTube channel to watch the upload of these and other episodes of the program. Email us for your comments and contributions at healthoptions at nta.gov.ng. My name is Rabi Abdella. Stay healthy.